Hey, hey, welcome to another video from the Outdoor Annals. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, if this is a Christmas, uh, I might release this on Christmas Eve. Not really sure. Probably going to be Christmas Day. Either way, have a great time with your family. I love this time of year. I love this video. This is going to be, yes, this is my favorite brand, LT Wright. These are going to be my favorite knives of the year. I was originally going to call this my top five, but the truth is, is I just have four just like killer favorites right now. Yes, I have more LT rights. And you know what? We'll do an honorable mention just to say it's it's top five. Uh, this is the LT Wright Patriot. This is the smallest knife I have ever had as a fixed blade. It is so tiny. Let no one uh, fool you how itty bitty this knife is. Um, I'm not sure this one's going to stick around, but I do love it. It is cool, but it is just so small. I just, I don't know. It might just go in like a tackle box, to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it. Uh, that That's that's probably what it's going to do. Uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll call that number five. If I ended up saying this is the top five videos. Uh, my number four uh, knife that I absolutely love from LT Wright is going to be the Jetsnick. Uh, this knife is just beautiful for woodwork. Um, is it a, 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 the perfect belt knife? No, because it's a Scandi and it's very, it's got a, the Ulu blade. It's weird, but man, gosh darn it, if you're gonna be doing some some really good feather sticking or you're just gonna be making some fire, making some fire, yeah, make, <laughs> making a fire for the fireplace. Uh, maybe I've had too much of this, actually be more like rum right now. Uh, this knife is amazing. Uh, it really is good. It's very ergonomic. I love the handle. It is really, really good. And if you've never done feather sticking with one an LT Wright Scandi and then also this Ulu shape, holy cow, you can't go wrong. Almost every angle you attack a piece of wood with, you get wild good feathers. And this knife is just cool. This green burlap, CPM 3V, mm -mm -mm. this knife rocks. It absolutely rocks. I've had it for years. I love it, as you can tell. <laughs> Burlap picks up a lot of oil from your hands and, well, everything else that, that's around there. Uh, I've, had, I've taken this knife hunting quite a few times, too. And um, that's when I really realized, yeah, the Ulu blade shape is not the perfect belt knife. Had some weird situations in tree stands where I was like, yeah, I kind of wish this was a normal just blade shape, but whatever. It worked. It was what it was. Just trying to be quiet up there, you know? But it's bringing back flashbacks of trying to not to spook deer <laughs> in the dark. Uh, but what a great knife. I love this thing. Uh, when sitting around the campfire, duh, this thing is just such a such a beautiful knife. So there's number four. You know what? I might just kind of keep it up there throughout the sheath here. Uh, number three. Ooh. This is going to be a tough one, but it is going to be the Outback. And this was kind of my new pickup for the year. Very Christmassy feeling. Uh, CPM 3B, 3V. I just love this. This, the, the green micarta liners, the red burlap. That just looks like a cherry pie, man. I don't know, man. It's just so cool. This knife is so cool. It looks gorgeous. Very ergonomic for me. I love the saber grind on this. It's a great all-around knife. It's a good camp knife. It's not the best food prepper. It's a little thick. Well, it's not the super, super, you know, thin behind the edge like some LT rights are. But doggone, I love this knife. This knife has just been great. It's actually been hanging out a lot at the uh, the fireplace uh, with me this year and um, in the fire pit out back. It's just been, it's been so good. Really enjoyed it. Get yourself an Outback. These are exclusive to DLT Trading, and they don't have them in stock all the time. But, man, when they do, this is a really good knife. This is a really, really good knife. All right, that's number uh, three. Number two has been a knife that got away from me and then came back. Uh, got a nice little custom sheath here for it. This is a GNS. Um, I've had quite a few GNSs, but this was in Blue Maple, and... Coyote liners, and I saw this online. And there's several blue maples. Uh, I think there are a few different stores that had them, knife ship free and DLT at the same time. And I never picked one up for money reasons, for looks reasons, and uh, they they, all, they sold out. 
and I just realized, and I also for a long time didn't like A2 steel that much. Wow, was I mistaken on that one. I love A2. And that's kind of another reason that just kind of kept me from it. And then this came up on a DLT like uh, insider Christmas. Was it Christmas? Just an insider sale. And I just, I just had to have it. I was just like, man, it's back. There's another chance to get it. Didn't have a sheath. Got it for actually a really inexpensive price. Had a nice custom sheath there around here. And it's just been great. This has been on some good adventures for me. It's a little, it's a, I like the saber grind. It's a little thinner than the thing you have back on this one. So it's a little more camp friendly for food. And oh, I just, I just love this knife. I really do. Um, I've got some good memories behind it. Some good friends just hanging out, having a great evening. And man, it's just a good time. Good time. Great way to start fires. Great way to keep stuff going. And you know, roast some hot dogs and make some good, good hot dog sticks. What a win. That's what, that's what some of these knives are just, they're just meant for. And as a camp knife, this thing is fantastic. Um, and my favorite knife of the year. I can't believe it took me a couple years. I've had this knife for, this is my second year with it. Really just a little over a full, full year of use with it in, in all honesty. This is my Christmas knife from last year. And this is my custom Genesis. Oh my goodness. Is this so nice? Yeah, I took this to work uh, for the Christmas party, uh, kind of pre-Christmas party. I brought in a bunch of deer, a bunch of a uh, uh, sausage, and uh, oh yeah, well, what summer sausage? And, and just slicing it off of this thing. It's just so, so perfectly Christmas. This is a full flat Genesis, and I love this handle. I just can't believe how ergonomic this non-contoured handle is. Now it is contoured, uh, but just not like, you know, it doesn't have that Coke bottle contour, like the GNS or the, or really all the other ones. It's, it's the broom handle, I think is what most people call it. But it really fits my hand so well. I love it and I love how thin this full flat grind is in A2 and holy cow, it's just been good. It's been so good this year lots of campfire use, lots of food prep with this knife. And you know, A2 is not bad. Just take care of it, clean it up. You don't, I mean, I don't even have any staining on this. It's just done really, really well. Of course I do clean it up pretty well too. So now I'll take that with a grain of salt. It's, it will still rust pretty quick. You leave this out in the rain and you don't mess with it and you leave it in a leather sheath. You're, you're toast. Just, you are toast and no, no surprise there, but I love A2 for how tough it is. It keeps a fairly decent edge and it's it's pretty easy to touch back up. That's why I like it. And in some ways I like it better than 3V because it's easier to touch back up versus 3V is can be a little tougher, but it also holds an edge better and it's also a way tougher steel. So you know you have trade-offs, trade-offs with everything. But man, is this knife just gorgeous. And these are my my top four really for the year. Um Maybe next year, I know what I want to get. I want to get a really nice Genesis and it's Scandi. And that way I feel like I'm I'm kind of set at that point. Like that's that's really all I'm really looking for. I know LT Wright has a lot of different other um, just knives out there and I do like some of them. Um, I, I really do. I just, I know these are my go-to and I know this and a Scandi would just be perfect for me. So. If I find another cool handle and a good scandy, you know, that's what I'm gonna go for. But anyway, favorite knife brand, all the fit and finish on these is, they're just immaculate. They've done well for me. They've held up incredibly well. It's a good company to deal with. If you ever have any issues, I called up, um, you know, cause this knife isn't perfect. It wasn't marked. And I was almost certain all these were 3V. And then and as soon as I called in, they're like, oh, hold on. Well, I have to put <laughs> they're like, there was a run that didn't get stamped. Um, <laughs> grab your box. You don't have the box. Don't worry. We'll look it up for you. Yeah, they are with me and had the answer in no time flat. This was back in my one of my. I think this might have been my first LT right knife. And I was just like, hey guys, that's a little, little iffy. You know, where's the stamp on this one? Is it real? They're like, no, 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 no. That one's definitely real. We know it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so cool. It's just nice when customer service works with you. That is a, that's a beautiful thing. It's really nice. And sometimes I feel like it's really rare in the knife world. 
people just get up in arms and arrogant about their companies. And you're just like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, people fund you, you know? You wouldn't be around without people. And LT Wright, I feel like, takes that the, that that meaning to heart. And that is really nice. So, anyway, I love these knives. Can't recommend them enough. Everything has its own kind of preferences to it. But these are really, really good. And I have loved them this year. So... There we go. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about uh, LT Right. What are your favorite picks for the year? Um, or do you have any questions about them? Happy to Happy to chime in. All right. Have a, uh, a wonderful new year. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.